So the same thing always happens when a new device launches. The media gets review units ahead of the official launch and we get to use them while we write our review. Then the press embargo lifts, every outlet posts their reviews and videos at the same time, writers and commenters go back and forth and it's a huge frenzy of opinion and buzz for about a day. And then it all goes away. Sure, there's some follow-up coverage, but after that initial blast, almost no one revisits the device to see how well it's aged. Because we're all on to the next big thing already. So let's do something about it. Let's take a look at Nokia's most metallic update to the Lumia 900 line. I'm Michael Fisher, this is Pocket Now, this is the Nokia Lumia 925, and this is episode 25 of After the Buzz. While it just became available on AT&T in September, the Lumia 925 first launched in the United States on T-Mobile back in July, and it was available in parts of Europe the month before that. Our own Anton Dinoj reviewed the phone at that time, calling it a joy to use, and promising that, for the right kind of customer, it wouldn't disappoint. Five months later, both observations continue to be true. The Lumia 925 is indeed something special, but now more than ever, it also takes the right kind of buyer to appreciate it. Some of us were a little hard on the 925 at first, which took the industrial design of the earlier 920 and modernized it with aluminum trim and a busier backplate. While we're still not pleased about the removal of wireless charging and wish the speaker had been kept on the bottom edge, it's tough to overstate the beauty of the 925. Especially in the black finish of our AT&T unit, this is quite a beautiful device. And Nokia seems to know it, having included the kind of carrying pouch normally included with luxury sunglasses. Its light weight keeps it in the same pocketability league as something like the iPhone 5S, while its aluminum trim puts it a step above something like the Galaxy S4, more in line with an HTC One in terms of feel and hand. Back in June, we weren't sure if the change in design language from the earlier Lumias was a good idea. But given the industry's continued march toward thinner and lighter designs, the 925 has held up much better than the 920, and even, to a degree, the newer 1020 in terms of aesthetics. The clear black display may not be 1080p, but it's excellently sized at 4.5 inches, and its AMOLED-fueled blacks are dark as can be, its color palette as dazzling as ever. With regard to nuts and bolts hardware capability, there's nothing special here. But then, there doesn't really need to be, given Windows Phone's ability to operate smoothly on even middling hardware. That positive distinction, though, can only carry Windows Phone so far.